praise the Lord. We're blessed. Amen. We woke up this morning in our right minds, amen, with the activity of our limbs, be able to, to see one another and greet one another and love one another. Amen. That's a blessing from God. Amen. And God has been so good to us. Amen. That we can't even tell all the good things that God has done for us. Amen. But when we come together, we are to testify of his goodness. So I want to say the Lord is good. Amen. God bless you tonight. Amen. I just want to share with you a little thought. Amen. That uh, the Lord wanted me to share with you in the book of St. John, the ninth chapter. I just want to share with you a word from God today. Uh, the ninth chapter of St. John, the first verse says, And Jesus passed by, and he saw a man which was blind from birth. Amen. Amen. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin that this man, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Uh-huh. Who did sin? Was it the man or was it his parents for the reason that he was born blind? Amen. Bible says that Jesus answered. Now, this is what Jesus said. Touch your neighbor and say, this is what Jesus said. <laughs> Neither had this man sinned, nor his parents. Uh-huh. But that the works of God should be made manifest in him. But that the works of God may be made manifest in him. Yes, sir. I'm just going to stop right there. Amen. Amen. There's it's more to the story. The story goes on to talk about the man being healed by Jesus. Jesus uh, repaired the man's sight. But I want to talk about this man's story. Uh-huh. I want to talk about the story of your life. All right. Preach your word, Amen. Then. I want to talk about the story of your life. Uh-huh. Amen. All of us have a story. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, a story is a telling of events. It's a telling of a, of a situation. Amen. Anybody ever told you a story? They told you what happened. Yeah. They told you what they heard. They told you what they saw. They told you a story about something. I I, I, I watch TV sometimes, and every now and then you, you can catch a good story on TV, can't you? Yeah. Amen. But all the stories on TV ain't a good story, is it? Sometimes you watch some TV, you be like, what is this mess I'm watching? Uh-huh. Because it's not a good story. Right. Amen. But when you find a good story, it's be so good that you're able to tell somebody else about the story. Right. Yeah. Let me say that again. When you hear a good story, isn't it easy for you to tell somebody else about the good story? Yeah. Because it was a good story. <laughs> Anytime you hear a good story and you share it, that's somebody else being able to experience the good story that you heard. Amen. So what are you talking about today, Pastor Price? I'm talking about your story. Amen. I want to talk about your story for All you. Right. The Bible says from the beginning of when you were in your mother's womb, God knew you. He knew you before you were formed in your mother's belly. So for some of us, that's a long time ago. For me, it's been over 50 years since I was inside my mama's belly. Amen. For some of you, it's been 50, 60, 70 years since you've been in your mother's belly. But ever since you were in your mother's belly, God had a story for your life. He knew who you were going to be. He knew what was going to happen to you. Right. He knew who you were going to meet and who you were going to meet. God knows everything, and he has a story for your life. Listen, anytime, like the disciple says, anytime something happens in your life that seems like a tragedy, some things happen in your life that seems like they shouldn't have happened, a lot of things happen in our lives, and we wonder, well, well God, whose fault was it that this happened? Was it, was it my fault? Was it my parents' fault? Was it my wife's fault? Was it my husband's fault? Listen, don't spend time worrying about whose fault it was. All right. That your story ended up a little different than you wanted it to. All right. Let's say that one more time. Don't. How does God manifest right on time? Right. Has anybody ever had to ask God for something? Had to pray to God for something? And some kind of way, when you didn't think it was going to work out, it worked out. Amen. I got any witnesses in here? Yes, sir. Some kind of way, when you thought it wasn't going to work out, but it worked out for your good. Do it, God. The Bible says, for we know that all things work together for the good of 
them that love the Lord and to them that are the called according to his purpose. Amen. Anybody love the Lord in here today? Amen. Yeah. Anybody love him today? Amen. Well, guess what? He's working things out for your good. Every situation that you come into in life, it may not always seem like a good situation. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yes, sir. Every now and then, it's going to be some bad things that happen in your life. Amen. I've had some terrible things happen in my life. But because I trusted in God, because I kept the faith, because I believed in who I serve, God brought me through that thing. Uh-huh. God gave me strength to get through the situation. Yes, sir. God gave me peace in my mind. He gave me peace in my heart for to get through that day. Yeah, preach your word. And he does the same thing for you. Yes, sir. It ain't just the preacher. Uh-huh. A lot of times we look at the preacher and think the preacher's supposed to be perfect. But no, we're not perfect. Uh-huh. Tell the and story. And neither are you perfect. But God is a forgiving God. He's full of grace and he's full of mercy. Yes. He's full of love and he's full of kindness. And guess what? He wouldn't let you get to where you are in life and leave you by yourself. Preach a word. The I Bible need says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, God Lord. loves you. Uh -huh. He's taking time out to think about you. Yes, Lord. But have you taken time out to think about him? Hallelujah. Have Hallelujah. you taken time out to worship him? Yes. Have you taken time out to thank him, to glorify him, to lift him up, to testify of his goodness? Yes. This is what God wants from us. Uh huh. Touch your neighbor and say, he don't want no pity party. He don't want no pity party. He don't want no pity party. party. He don't want you always talking about how sad you is right. and everything. Oh, this is a terrible day and oh, I don't feel good. Amen. And my, my, my kids acting up, my husband acting a fool. He don't want you talking all that negative stuff. Say, in the midst of and in spite of, I'm still blessed. I'm still blessed. Amen. I'm preaching better than y'all saying I'm amen. I'm preaching, baby. Amen. But you got a story to tell <laughs> in your life. Uh-huh. We all got, I don't care what age you uh -huh. are, you've been through something. Yes, sir. <laughs> You remember back when you was a kid, you felt and skinned your knee. You felt like that was the biggest thing in the world. Your knee was bleeding. You're looking for band-aids. You, you, in, you in tragedy. Oh, Lord, mama, mama, I hurt my knee. That wasn't no big deal, but you thought it was a big deal. But as soon as that scab came and healed it up, you was up right back outside playing again. Yes, sir. Ain't that right? That's right. When you was a young person and you had a relationship with somebody, you were so in love with them. Mm -hmm. You couldn't move without them, and then they left you. My Lord. Or they lied to you. My Lord. Or they mistreated you. You thought the world was over, but the world wasn't over. My Lord. The world kept on moving, didn't it? Yes, sir. That person went on about their way, and you went on about your way. God's got a way of working your story out for your good. Work it out, Amen. Jesus. Work it out. He's got a way of making everything all right, uh -huh. and you got to trust in him. Villa, you got to trust him. Yes, sir. Don't just say you love him and don't trust him. Yeah. If you ever been married and you got a husband or wife, if you say you love him, you better trust him. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Because sometimes it don't feel like they don't love you. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. You preaching. Sometimes it feel like your family don't love you, don't it? Uh -huh. But they like love you. They just human. <laughs> they just make mistakes like we make mistakes. Mm -hmm. your they just come up short sometimes like we didn't came up short sometimes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For his grace and his mercy. Yes. And yeah. his love that endure forever oh, yeah. and ever. Right. Do his love ever stop? No. Oh, Preacher, are you sure? I'm absolutely sure. Uh -huh. His love never stops. His grace never stops. All right. The Bible tells me so. Yes, sir. Touch somebody and say it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Bible. So I want to, I want to get ready to close. But I, I want to talk about these stories. These stories. Every story has three things. It has some characters. Everybody say characters. Characters. It has a, 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 a personal connection where, where a good story has a personal connection where, where either you know somebody that was in the story. Or you know about somebody in the story. Amen. But the best thing about a story is at the end of the story, it's a good twist. Yes, sir. Y'all know a good story have a good twist, don't you? Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, I didn't even see that coming. Yes. Uh -huh. Ain't that right? You right? The best stories be like, you be watching and then all of a sudden you be like, oh, I didn't even see that about to happen. Uh -huh. Oh, man, that was a good ending. Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to tell you about a story today about a man named Jesus. Preach your word. <laughs> 
I want to 